Hi, this is Leslie with Riverbend Consulting. So it's the beginning of the new year. We are one week in, and I would bet that almost all of my friends out there who sell on Amazon and other online retail are missing one little thing, a business plan. Now there is a reason that online sellers tend to neglect business planning, and it's because of hustle. Um, we spend a lot of time sourcing product, making deals, obtaining inventory, shipping inventory. In fact, there are a lot of Facebook groups out there, mastermind groups, where the emphasis is all on hustle, that if you just work hard enough, you're going to be successful. Well, I think we'd all like to believe that's true, but a little bit of planning can go a long, long way toward making sure that you actually are where you want to be one year from now. So I wanted to encourage you today to take a little time to write down a business plan. Now, you don't have to be formal about this and you don't have to follow the SBA guidelines. You're not looking for a loan. It doesn't have to be 20 pages long. It can be one piece of paper and bullet point notes. It can be that simple, but just by writing these things down, you can give yourself new focus and make sure you're really working toward the right things. Now, a business plan to me isn't just about the business. A business plan is about the person who owns that business. Personal goals, family goals, what you really want to be and what you really want to do. Long term and short term, the whole thing. It's your life on a piece of paper. It's your goals and your aspirations. So instead of writing things like objectives and strategies, how about instead you just try writing down some SMART goals? Now, in case you haven't ever heard of SMART goals, I just want to review what they are because they're super cool. And to me, the fastest and easiest way to write down a plan for 2018. So SMART is an acronym, S-M-A-R-T. So the S is for specific, M is measurable, A is achievable or attainable, R is relevant, and T is time bound. So let's start with the S. S being specific. Goals don't really matter if they're general. I want to be happy doesn't really mean anything. I want my business to grow doesn't mean much either. So for the purposes of this example, let's pretend that you have been an RA or OA or wholesale and this year you want to be a private label seller. So if you want to be a private label seller and you want to have a specific goal, it might be, I want to launch a private label brand in health and beauty and I want to have, um, 10 products, and the reason that I want to do this is because I believe it will give me this kind of financial freedom, it will give me this kind of time, it will move me this much closer to my personal goals. Um, you know, customizing that to what you really want out of life. Uh, the M is for measurable. Now, measurable goals, um, there's two parts of this. There's the how you do it and the what you want to get to, right? So the how you do it might be, I want to launch, I want to have those 10 products and I want them each to sell this many units so that I can end with revenue of X and margin of X and I'm taking home this amount. Um, and then when I take home that amount, guess what? I get to take my kids on that amazing backpacking adventure across Europe. The A is for achievable. Um, and that means, how are you going to accomplish this goal? Is it realistic? And not just is it realistic in a vacuum, like, hey, yeah, I can do that because there's six other guys in my mastermind group and they all have successful private label products. No, it's, is it achievable based on your current circumstances and where you are in life? And the answer might be, yes, I can do this, but I need to drop this other thing. I need to stop spending my time on this other thing. Um, I need to focus more on A, B, and C. How can you actually get it done? Um, the R is for relevant. And relevant goals, and to me, this is the really hard one because 
I tend to have these big things I want to do in life and I get really focused on them and you know they're not always the best thing to do and you kind of have to turn that off in your head and say this is not relevant to where I am right now I don't get to have that I have to focus on this over here that makes more sense right so relevant can be is this the right time to do this am I the right person to do this project um, does it make sense right now in the marketplace because it can be successful right now in the marketplace you're not selling buggy whips in other words and finally is time bound and this is where all the procrastinators have serious challenges right um, because if you have a goal but it doesn't have a time attached to it then you may as well not have a goal if you say I want to lose 20 pounds someday <laughs> you probably never will lose that 20 pounds but if you say I want to lose five pounds a month for the next four months and then I'll lay 20 pounds less and hooray that is a time-bound goal and one that you can probably achieve so just some food for thought um, I know that planning is not fun and being an entrepreneurial person myself sitting down and writing out plans and goals I would much rather be out making money and doing deals and helping people and building relationships that's where the fun is to me of having a business but if you spend just a little bit of time it can give you the focus you need to really be where you want to be in a year and the last step and this is the one that I just did this morning myself is that the first day of the month for the rest of the year if you have a planner you've got a calendar you've got reminders on your phone whatever it is that you use to track your daily activities go in there right now and put in February 1st March 1st you need to make an appointment with yourself to sit down with that list of smart goals and review and see if you're on track because there's no point in writing this down and then kind of woo forgetting about it for the rest of the year I hope this was helpful and I also hope that you will like our page on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube and Riverbend Consulting hopes that you have a great day selling on Amazon. Thanks.